Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your WooCommerce store to work with Dropified. Now it's a little bit more involved than the other kinds of stores we offer but bear with me we're going to get through this together and you're going to see that it's not really that difficult it's just an extra couple of steps. So before we do anything in Dropified we need to go in and create an API key in secret for WooCommerce. So I'm going to go into my store right here and we have to do a couple of things first. So what we need to do is we need to go into our WooCommerce settings after we log in, go down to permalinks, and we have to make sure that this button right here is set up, post name. Sometimes it defaults to plain, day and name, month and name, whatever, it has to be post name for it to work. So we need to make sure that this is selected. But once this is done, we then go into the WooCommerce settings. We go all the way over to Advanced, or in some cases it'll say API Key. And if you see API Key, you need to select the checkbox uh, in the, on the screen that says REST API. If it is not selected, it won't work. But then we go to REST API, or in the other case with API, we press Keys and Apps, but REST API and Keys and Apps is going to bring us to the same place. So REST API. Right here you'll see Add Key, and this is how we actually give permission to Dropified to work. So I'm going to name this Dropified. And so this is going to be the user you're logged in as. You want to make sure that this is an administrative account. So in this case, Joan is the administrator for this account. And in some cases, it'll just say admin, it'll say your name or whoever runs the account. Then lastly, we need to change the permissions from read to read and write. So that way it's a two way line of communication between Dropified and WooCommerce and things that happen on one will transfer to the other and vice versa. So once that's done, we press generate API key. And as you can see, we have the consumer key and the consumer secret. I recommend saving these in a safe document somewhere so that you have them at hand because once this goes away, as you can see, copy your keys as the secret key will be hidden once you leave this page. If you end up needing it down the road, you're going to want to save it somewhere because this won't be visible in this window after this goes away and you'll have to restart the process and make a new API key just definitely save these somewhere safe. But that's pretty much all you need to do on the WooCommerce side of things. Now we have to go into Dropified. So over here we need to go and log into Dropified here and on the main dashboard we're gonna see a button that says Add Store. So we press WooCommerce, we name the store, I'm gonna name it Woo because it's WooCommerce, and now we need the store's URL. So we need to go back into WooCommerce and we need to go up to the top right here and select our administrative URL. So in my case, this is a custom domain name, so this is what I'm going to copy, but yours might look like uh, woo.yourstorename.com. Basically, whatever shows up on the dashboard screen, you need to copy the https colon slash slash the URL up to the dot com or whatever your custom URL is, and then copy and paste that into Dropified. Then you press Add Store. And then this is basically going to show you all of the permissions that you're giving Dropified. Once you've reviewed all of these, just press Approve. And there you go, the store is added. You can start going into Save Products, Connected Products, Boards, Orders Tracking. Your store is set up and you are ready to go with WooCommerce in Dropified. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below if you're watching on YouTube or reach out to our amazing customer service who are ready to help you with all of your questions. Have a great day and see you in the next video.